Hey, what is up YouTube? Here is Tuan again and today I have some really awesome Pokemon Center Japan plushies that I want to show you guys. But before I do so, I want to show you the gifts that I received with this order. The first item that I have is a postcard. This is the monthly postcard from September if I recall correctly. And on here we have a big moon with uh, Pokemons that presumably evolved from the moon, Moonstone, I'm not sure. We have Muna, Musharna, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Clefable, Nidorans, and Skitty. And on the back side of the postcard, we have the Pokeball logo as uh, the moon, and we have Clefairy and Pikachu. Then I received Two stickers from the Pokemon Masters EX campaign. This is green with Venusaur in her sickness suit. This is from the Pokemon Masters EX campaign. And here we have Cynthia in her sickness suit with Komo. -O. Then next up, I also have a face mask. This one is with Psyduck. Alone an executor and some flowers and another face mask with slowpoke sleezing around and cloister these face masks are made out of the uh, fabric material used on the Pokemon shirts the first plushie that I have here is this Dragapult this is a very, very big plushie and it is also very detailed. I really like the uh, fading of the colors on this plush. But one thing that I noticed is that the tail is not wired. I assumed in the news video that this plush would be wired or at least the tail. But unfortunately it is not. One thing I criticized about this plush was its hat because look at this. This kind of looks weird. It looks a little bit derpy. Usually the Dragapult is supposed to have a triangular shaped uh, head form, but this one is more round. And yeah, I don't really like that. But still, this plush is very very detailed we also have the small drapees on the catapult launcher on its head and the head itself is super detailed the stitching is nice and yeah that is Dragapult let me put him onto the back next up we have Galarian Slowpoke to be honest, this is just a regular slowpoke with some other colors and a Wi-Fi signal on here. It is very very soft and the stitching also looks super nice. Here is the tag. And yeah, this one was made in China. And like I said, it's very, very soft and a cute, cute plushie. Let's continue on with the next plushie. This one is Squovet. And initially I also said that this plush is also a little bit weird looking but holding it in hand and looking at it personally it is kind of cute to be honest i was worried that the transitions of the stitching on its mouth would be really weird but here the transitions looks very smooth and yeah it still looks like a clown pokemon to be honest but overall it is super cute the tail is very very big and also soft and yeah, I like this plushie. Here is the tag. It looks super, super cute. And it is also made in China. 
The next plushie that I have is the Halloween Yamper plushie. And this one is a very, very cute plush in my opinion. Let's take a close look at the tag first. Here is the Yamper looking super adorable. And basically this is just a regular Yamper Pokemon Center plushie with uh, a Zigzagoon costume. You can also pull the cape down. And then we can see Yamper's ears. Also, a very nice touch is that the left ear of Yamper has two hearts on it. This is super cute. And yeah, overall, this is a solid plush in my opinion. Next up, we have Mopeko in a Gengar costume and this one has to be one of my favorite plushies out of the Halloween campaign. It looks super super nice and yeah, the cape is very detailed. I really like the stitching on here. It looks very well made. And we have a smiling Mopeko in its full belly mode with the Gengar on top. And we also have the tongue of Gengar on here. Some pretty nice gloves. And this is the tag, also a very, very cute artwork in my opinion. This was also made in China. And this is easily one of my favorite Mopeko plushies there is. Next up, we have another Halloween plushie. This is the Pikachu in a hat rim costume. And this is also a very, very detailed Pikachu plushie. I mean, look at this. This looks beautiful. It is also very, very soft. And yeah, the hat it is wearing is super, super big. Probably bigger than Pikachu's own body. Here is the artwork of the tag. It is also another cute artwork. Another very, very cute and solid plushie in my opinion. Moving on, next we have Toxtricity in its uh, low-key form. This is also the Pokemon Center version and uh, the Pokemon Center released both Toxtricity forms, the low-key form and the amped form and I decided to go with the low-key form since I like the design of this one more as a plushie. This one is fully wired. You can pose him in any way you like. Look at this plushie. It is super super detailed. We also have the hair or the mane on here, which also has a softer like material inside. So this is a super, super nice detail. Let's take a close look at the artwork. Also a solid artwork of Toxtricity on here. And yeah, overall, I really like this Toxtricity plush. Let's put him onto the back. The next plushie that I have is Ball Guy. I really, really like Ball Guy as a plushie. This one is also posable and yeah, this is the tag. Very, very funny looking in my opinion. And yeah, you can do all poses with Ball Guy and that is awesome. can also make a T pose with ball guy and many many more poses. So this plush is super super nice. I think um, this was like 20 bucks. So a very very solid pickup if you have the chance to buy this plushie. To 
to round up this opening, I have three more mascot plushies from the Halloween campaign that I want to show you guys. The first mascot plushie that I have is this Gore Bunny wearing a naked costume. We also have a small trick-or-treat Pikachu pumpkin bag that Gore Bunny is uh, wearing or holding. And this plush is very, very detailed as you can see. One of my favorite mascot plushies that the Pokemon Center has ever released. It is so, so detailed. And here is the tag of the Score Bunny wearing the Naked costume. Super, super nice plush in my opinion. Let's put you on here. And then we have Grooky wearing a uh, Toxel hat or costume. This one is also very cute looking and it also has a basket on its tail. The artwork is also super super adorable and yeah I really like this mascot plushie. Last but not least we have Sobble and this one is just adorable. I mean, look at Sobel. It is so, so cute when it's smiling. And I really like the Drifloon costume. It really fits. And yeah, it doesn't have any baskets or uh, pumpkin bags. But I think, like I said, the Drifloon costume is more than enough. Let's take a close look at the artwork. I mean, this is just adorable. Super, super nice looking. And I'm really happy that I have all the three mascot plushies. I think the only one that I'm missing is... Uh, what is that one called again? I forgot it. The Pokemon that is evolving to uh, Flygon. But by the time I wanted to order that plushie, it was just sold out. So, yeah. I'm still happy with all the plushies that I got here. That was it for this opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And before I end this video, I would like to know from you guys which one of all these plushies is your favorite. Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Peace.